It's Memorial Day weekend. That means it's time for summertime activities like swimming and grilling and eating the flesh of similar species. Yay! <laughs> Hey guys, I'm Trace, thanks for watching D News. Happy Memorial Day weekend. This is the time of year when we break out the grills and we enjoy the coming of summer, but a new theory tells us that there may have been a time when we were barbecuing our own cousins, the Neanderthal. Yeah, yum. Neanderthal were a fairly dominant species in much of Europe, and historians are pretty confident that we even interbred with these Neanderthals. We're so similar to them, we even share DNA. But as Homo sapiens spread from the African cradle and began their push into their space in Europe, we became an invasive species. And this new theory says that instead of outperforming them for food or resources like Asian carp or nutria does in the States, we just ate them into extinction. What gives ancient humans love them or eat them? Jeez, man, gosh, what? Where exactly is the line? Where do humans decide not to eat something or more ghastly, Maybe there's no line at all. I recently aired a segment about cannibalism, so to get some idea, make sure you check that out. But for now, let's see if we can't find this line, shall we? Food taboos are pretty common in the United States. There are quite a few things that are absent from our menus that you can find in a lot of other countries. For example, horse meat. It's a staple in France, cheval. And in parts of Asia, you can even find it as sashimi. While we don't eat it, a lot of cultures do. So the horse, as a friend and docile work animal, doesn't seem to be stopping us from chowing down. Rat, dog, cat, and a bunch of other small animals are popular foods in many countries, not to mention insects, larvae, and spiders. Interestingly, some of those foods, like dog, used to be consumed right here in North America. And while it's illegal now, because we've romanticized that companionship we have, we still eat pig, an animal known to be even more intelligent than our normal pets, and also delicious. So apparently neither smarts nor pets are where the line is either. But the Neanderthal wasn't a dog, it wasn't a pig, it it wasn't a cat, it wasn't a spider, it was a cousin of us. And today, we know that gorillas and humans share 98% of their genetic material, which may be way less than chimpanzees at 99%. However, we still eat them too. So it would appear to us that intelligence, nor domestication as pets, nor similarity to ourselves will stem our hunger for the flesh of animals. The kicker? Humans ate Neanderthals is just a hypothesis. Researchers are still looking for proof. So far, they only have proof that the Neanderthals ate each other. And if they did it, why wouldn't we? Do you care where your food comes from? Do you even think about it? Tell us your thoughts on what we eat in the comments. Also, you may have noticed we've moved to a new channel, TestTube. Keep coming to testtube.com for your daily dose of inspiration. And thanks for tuning in to D News today. From all of us here, we hope you have a great Memorial Day weekend. Catch you later.